Kurnos, god of the hunt and lord of all wild places. He is the husband of Isha and thus the father of elven kind. Many elves see him as one of the chief gods of their respective pantheons. Kurnos is a primal god who commands great power over the forests of the world and the animals who inhabit them. With but a simple call from his horn, the animals around him gather to the lord of the hunt. All elven hunters see Kurnos above all others. They wish for his protection during their great hunts and fear upsetting the great god. Kurnos does not ask for much from his followers, only that they never hunt for sport and instead hunt beasts that threaten the natural order of things, or for food, but only enough and never kill an excess of beasts. Any who work against the wishes of Kurnos best not find themselves in any dense forests unless they are prepared to face his primal wrath. All elves of Ulfuan consider the kingdom of Alerion to be the chosen of Kurnos, due to the large amounts of forests, plains and beasts that inhabit the area. Whereas the wood elves of Atheloran see themselves as the chosen of the god of the hunt, as his living avatar Orion walks among them. In truth, Kurnos watches over all hunters, and does not play favourites so long as they respect nature. It is theorised that there is a select number of dark elves who do worship Kurnos, seeing as the Dark Elves are indeed Elves after all, and thus do worship many of the same gods. However, it is unknown how much Kurnos actually pays attention to their darker brethren, for while the High Elves and the Wood Elves do respect nature, the Dark Elves tend to pervert it and twist it to their own shape and form. To many of the races not of Elven blood, they can see representations of Kurnos as something more akin to a beastman. But stating those suspicions to any of the elves would be a grave mistake, as that would be considered a great insult, one that cannot be forgiven. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our lore video. I did want to cover Kurnos in more depth, specifically by going into Orion, but I'd rather talk about his avatar in its own separate video, as Orion does have a lot of lore about him. That being said, if you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. Once again, thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.